Hi, this is uh, Chris with Chapter Two on how to uh, how to upholster a slip seat or a dining room chair seat. Um, I guess since we've got the padding all done from Chapter One, Chapter Two is getting the fabric ready. I'm using the plaid because it's a little more difficult, and I'll show you the lines in the fabric. And just for instance, when picking your fabric, there's a couple of ways to lay it out. You can use a bright center stripe, as you can see, as your line makes it kind of look like a car racing uh, racing car or you can offset the two pronounced lines on the side like I'm going to use here I'm going to use this faint uh, pink line I guess for my center um, tools you're going to need your staple remover again hopefully you won't have to use it a pair of dykes to pull out the staples a marker to find your center some 7 8 staples and your trusty staple gun is a FASCO gun that we carry. You can see it on our website under uh, upholstery guns or staple guns. It's the best gun in the market. Electric guns don't work. They're a pain in the butt. And for those of you who have them, we'll be shaking your head. <laughs> yeah. Okay, step one. Turn your seat upside down. You want to find your center. You want to keep your line straight. Your center from front to back. My center on here is at 8 inches. And since this is a square piece of wood, my center on the back is also going to be at 8 inches. Done. Alright. Take your fabric, line up your center on your stripe, which again I'm going to use this as my center. Just lay it on top of your project, on top of your seat. Have a look, make sure everything's where you want it to be at the front when it's finally finished. And take it and flip it. Put, tack your first stripe, your center stripe down. Flip it over and find your center on the back and tack it down. Now if you can see there's a line on my plaid going this way. I'm going to use that as a marker and help me keep everything straight. The trick to keeping stuff straight is pretty simple. Look at what you're doing. And temporary tack the sides. When I temporary tack, I shoot in on an angle like this, so it's easier to take a staple out. It's just a trick of the trade. Now I'm going to pop this front staple again, so I can get it exactly where I'm going to be, where it's going to be for the finished look. And again, I'm using the cup of my hand right here. Hold your hand up like this and put your hand on the fabric like that. That helps you feel any bump and keeps it straight. And then again, grab your fabric like this. Grab it like that, not like this. You'll never get a good job doing this. Okay. And watch your lines. That's the best trick. Work from your center out. Always work from your center out. You see how that nice line's coming straight? And then this way, work from your center out. Now always pull down and that to an angle. That way you're not going to fall up and have wrinkles like this. You're going to be pulling like that, which keeps the fabric nice and clean. As you can see, it's starting out to look very nice and very straight. And I'm going to leave my ends open because you always want to do your ends last. The same to the back. Pull down and out. Pull down and out. Now, that's still looking really straight. We're going to go to the sides now and we're going to again leave the center, leave the uh, corners till the end. Okay, same thing, down and out. You'll notice that the line of your fabric, when you're getting close to the corners, will taper down some because on a slip seat, that's just how it is when it finishes. The corners are always a little tighter than the rest of the project.
you got all the four sides ready to tack. Now you got to figure out what kind of uh, pleat you want to put on the corner. I'm going to do two kinds of pleats. I'm going to do a butterfly pleat and a tailored pleat just so you could see what they are. A butterfly pleat, you have your fabric sticking out just like that. You, you separate the two from each corner and give yourself, give yourself a pleat here and here and pull the center down in like that so you can see you have a pleat here and a pleat here. And tack it. Now put your pleat under. You can see your pleat going under there. Put it underneath there and trim that off. I'm missing my scissors. Can you hold on one second. Trim off the excess so you don't have a big clump of fabric there. And pull the other pleat. That is what we call a butterfly pleat. Now we're going to do a tailored pleat. The tailored pleat, you're only having one finish. You go to the front of your fabric and you pull your fabric snug. And like I said, your line is always going to curve down to your corner. That's just the way it is. And with a tailored pleat, you pull that right there, just one pleat. And that's the way that is. I'm just going to quickly finish the rest off here. How's our time? We got about three minutes left, so I got to kind of hurry up here. But that's how you, you guys saw how I did the pleat. I'm just going to finish it off here so I can finish the slip seat off. When you got all your pleats on and your everything's done, cut off all your salvage or your leftover fabric. Toss it to the floor. Take your DAC, uh, your cambric. It's called cambric dust cover, bottom cloth, uh, tie par. It's called many things, but it all does the same thing. Find your put a temporary tack in the center so it holds it in place. This is stuff just to show a nice clean job. Back in the day, it was actually had a use. And the use was when they used horse hair and straw and barn leftovers to upholster furniture, they put this dust cover on the bottom to stop all the dust from inside the chair falling to the floor every time someone sat in. That's true. That's history. And be really careful. As you can see, I almost nailed my finger. That's because of my time restraints on my camera. Or on YouTube. All right. There you have a slip seat. We have different pleats on each corner just because we wanted to show you two different kinds. But that's what you're going to get when it's done. Get yourself a staple gun. It's really important. It makes your job a whole lot easier. Thanks for watching. We'll be doing more videos soon.